Here's a cool one. It's called the Snap 3D from a company called Mopic. Now what this thing claims to do is to take your iPhone 7 Plus, turn it into a 3D capable screen. This Snap 3D, it goes onto your display. You do a quick kind of configuration and then all of a sudden, without glasses, you're seeing 3D. It's kind of interesting. Now, it's not the first time I've played with the idea of 3D on a smartphone. Ooh, whoa! Oh, that is very 3D. The thing he's poking me with is right around this range. But today, it's turning an iPhone 7 Plus into 3D, so it might be the first ever 3D iPhone. Install Snap 3D case, download mPlayer 3D. That's the app where you can watch your videos and so on in 3D. Have the image pop right out of your phone with automatic conversion. So it's gonna convert 2D content to 3D content. All right, let's crack this baby open here and see what's what. Oh, wow. A lot thinner than I expected. So, oh, you wear the case on the back of the device when it's not in use. See, I was wondering about this implementation. It just sits on the back of your device when you wanna go 3D mode it goes on the front. And you see, the reason I know that is because there's the cutout for the home button. And then when you're done, you wanna go back a very, very thin case when it's not in use. To save 3D content, connect your mobile to your computer, go to iTunes apps file sharing, choose mPlayer 3D and add it to your documents. Woo! So with those stickers off, you can see it's a very minimal case. Let's launch it, mPlayer 3D, and then I am going to put this case on, which appears to have fingerprints already. Good. Oh my goodness, all right. I'm already having a 3D effect, sort of. Look straight, keep a distance. Okay, cool, next. Caution. What? No hair, no sunglasses, no hands near your face, and no fancy anti-pollution masks either. All right, I can handle that. Stay within the red lines. Ooh, it got my eyes. Oh, this is more sophisticated than I thought. Jack, can you see this? Hang on. Now, when I'm looking straight at it, it grabs them, it turns them green. Whoa, angle setup. Check this out. Ah, and I want these to be parallel. Ooh, I'm having a real 3D feeling right now. Looks good to me. Next, make the beam dark. Okay, so this is far beyond the other stuff that I've played with in the past for sure. Whoa. What do you see with the right eye? B. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So there's a sample clip in here to get you started. So to you, this looks completely flat. I'm just looking over there at that image. To me, it's not flat at all. This, oh man, it is very intense, this 3D effect. To me, this feels like my finger is underneath the logo. The logo is popping way out of the display. Should I do a movie trailer? Deadpool movie trailer, let's try this. Wow. Why the fancy red suit, Mr. Pool? Oh, that's because it's Christmas Day, Bill Pender. And I'm after someone on my naughty list. I realize as I'm getting that lost in this right here that you guys, to you, it looks completely normal. You're not having this effect at all. It's amazing. There's eye tracking because since it finds your eyes, it's a very consistent 3D effect. Mr. Wilson. This is wild, man. You're not going to see it. There's no way. You only have one eyeball, Jack. <laughs> That's one eyeball. To see stereo three, you gotta have two eyeballs. It's better than 3D that I've seen before. I mean, it looks really good. What can I say? There's a light that goes from green to red. If it loses your eyes, it goes to red and it loses the lock. And if it stays green the whole time and you hold it here, it's, it's unbelievable. It's really good. It's way better than that other thing that I had. Man can't stay angry for five years. That faithful day. Penny? And I don't really feel like I'm straining my eyes, which is bizarre too, because normally I do. Something called snake demo. Okay, this is this is way more 3D than the movie trailer. For me, it's like out here. If that makes any sense to you, but it's popping out substantially. Ooh, wow. That's some of the coolest 3D I've ever held on to. Maybe you never thought you would see a gadget like this. I sure didn't. So they've got a series of clips and demos in the mPlayer 3D app that can get you started. But of course, eventually you're gonna wanna put your own video files in here and convert them, which again, can apply to any video file. You can do a 3D version of it. What's best about this particular one is it's low commitment. It's the tiniest, slimmest little thing. It's not like you gotta put glasses on. 
this is it. It's all housed in this tiny little sheet. Also happens to fit on the back of your iPhone and protect it. Maybe I should look up the price. They make it for the Galaxy A5, the iPhone 7 Plus, the S7 Edge, Note 5, and also for tablets as well. All right, so this device is super early stages right now. No release date, like I, you can't find it on Amazon, for example, right now, but the official website does have an inquiry page. They don't say the price, but they do say it'll be around the cost of a regular protective case, which means Dirt cheap, probably. This could be a really cool thing. So check out their website for more information. But like I said, don't expect to go to Amazon and like buy this thing right now. Just keep it on your radar. It's, it's a cool implementation.